Hello again. I don't want to make this video too long, but I found a problem with, with that chip enable error on the USB ASP and PROG ISP software. Here's the PROG ISP 172 I'm using. And uh, I gotta stay first. I'm using a laptop with Windows 8.1. So to get this program speed to work on Windows 8.1, you have to go do a whole bunch of steps to this. You have to disable signature, you know, driver and what have you. Eventually, I got it to work. And I want to show you, you know, like here's one with an ISP. Uh, port thing, IDC 10, whatever they're called, here, well, this is something else, here's another one right there, so, you would think, you would think that, um, you know, the thing is ready to go, you pl plug in your USB ASP or your USB Tiny, and you, you, you put, put, pop your chip in it, you know, you, reset the chip and then you say you know erase the chip and bam no matter what you do chip enable program I mean chip enable program error no matter what you choose blank check anything that thing comes out and it's come out for days at a time so I tried many things and I still couldn't get it to work last night waking enough from a nap I saw it there. I, I had, um, you know, tried from the cables. You know, I thought I made an error, so I waited and redid it again. Everything was done right. Read the data sheet. I wanted to build my own ISP program. And so I know, you know, how the how the thing talks to it. The ISP, you know, the code system, for erase, re-signature, you know, and things like that. And then I, I came down to the reset thing. Now... The reset needs to be high. The, the the reset needs to be high. But before we go, all right, let's let's. It is kind of touchy, and you know I'm gonna reset it there. And let's try again. See. Okay, now it's working. It doesn't have that. I I checked it for Steve the Flash blank check and it says the fl oh it's not empty. Okay. So let's erase it. Let's tell it to erase. And it says here chip erased successfully, right? Now the things is, is really quirky is when I do the other one it says flash is not empty again, right? But no chip enable error. So I'm gonna load a file, a short little file, set H bit, and I'm gonna tell it to program the flash. I'm I don't know how to use this yet. I'm just trying to get past that uh, chip enable program error. So it says here, write flash successfully done at uh, 1 p.m. whatever. And then I'm, I'm just using verify flash. I remember seeing you had to have several of these things marked. Flash verify error as zero. So it has, uh, here's the stuff we were trying to program. It's not really working yet, but it's getting past that uh, chip enable uh, program error. Somehow they have the reset pin backwards. It's to, they have it grounded all the time on these on this thing in particular. But no, I tried it with uh, on a regular PC board, you know, on a regular solder uh, PC board, and I got the same thing. The only thing that got me running was. Uh, some person made an Arduino into an ISP programmer for this chip on Instructables. And I'm able to use it as my ISP programmer so I don't have to keep removing the chip back and forth when I'm writing code. So anyhow, any, anyhow I hope uh, you know, 
this helps a little bit. I'll be working on it later on the weekend again with uh, my other programmer and maybe rewiring or building a circuit so the thing has control of the reset pin the program has uh, you know invert the reset pin to 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 uh, promote this with an inverter so anyhow i hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, enjoy a beautiful day bye